everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Leslie of Silver Moon Creations and today I received my package from BB Craft. So we will be doing the unboxing of all of the products that I received. So I have all of the information laid out here but you can go to bbcraft Dot com and I have a dis discount code of moon 10 to get 10% off of your total purchase and if you would like to get free products and if you have at least a hundred subscribers you can join their YouTube program and do exactly what I'm doing pretty much on a monthly basis now this is my second unboxing and what you would have to do is you just go in and fill out a form for them and they will let you know if you are accepted and it's very very easy so i would suggest if especially if you are a new youtuber and you have like i said more than 100 subscribers it really doesn't hurt to look into it because it is definitely a way that you can build your subscriber count and i think it would definitely be worth something that you should really look into so like i said i have it here but i will also have everything listed in my description box as well so i'm going to show you what i chose for this month now, I based everything on the journal that I'm making because that journal that I am making, everything that I purchased, I want to kind of go with this journal because I'm calling this my BB Craft Journal. So everything, like I said, that I got for this, I want to kind of go with this journal so I got these stamps and I figured these are really nice stamps so I can put them onto pieces of paper different tea dyed inked whatever types of papers that I see fit and I was thinking if I don't want to put them directly onto the actual pages themselves, I was thinking what I can do is then I can cut them out and use them as embellishments in the journal themselves. So that was, I liked the style of them. And we'll take them out. And I will, of course, have everything listed down below of what I purchased. So you don't have to go nuts in trying to find... They look pretty deep. I don't have paper or anything here. You know what, at the end what I'll do is I'll go run into the bedroom and I'll go find ink, my ink stamp and stuff and we'll, we'll try and ink something. Then I got some laces. This one is purple because I was doing, I wanted a lot of purple and gold and stuff in this. You get a lot of this aside. Now, I just want to show you how much you get. Because you get a lot. And these are really pretty. Let me get a piece of paper here. You just take off one of these pieces of paper. But these are really, really pretty. 
And I liked it because it was tonal. So it had the two tones on it. But look at how much you get. Like, I'm going to wrap this up here. Yes, and I'm doing this in real time, so bear with me. I mean, I probably should do this with my That's a lot of product. So, like I said, you get an awful lot. So, I purchased that one and then this one is a gold. This one, it looks like I think they have it tied. And again, I'm not even going to try and you can see how much you have here. There's a ton. There's a ton here. Okay, hopefully you have an easier time than I did because I had a very hard time trying to unravel that and I still have more unraveling to do, but that's the only thing that kind of irritated me, but. All right, so this is a very fine, but I like it because it's, it's a thinner and it's not wide and that's kind of what I was looking for because I like to edge my pages, as you can see, and it's thin, and it's not real bulky, and there's a lot. So I could probably do all of my tea dyed pages, or I should say my coffee dyed pages, and not have a problem. All right, and then let's see here. What else do I have here? So this lace that I got, this one has moon and stars. So this one I'm not taking off of here, but I will show you. This is much wider but it dangles and it has the moon and the stars. So that I was like, is perfect. I absolutely love that. So I'm going to do something in here with it. I'm not sure yet what, but I'm going to definitely make something with that on here. Even if it's in the center parts of the signatures because somehow I would like to incorporate that in the center parts of the signatures, I think. But I think that is very, very pretty. And as you could see, it is really wide. It's pretty much the width of that paper. And even if you wanted to, you could always cut the stars and the moon, and then you would have just this part to use if you wanted to. But I like it as it is because I just think it's very, very pretty and it's very, very unique. And as you can see, you get quite a bit of it. So definitely, that is something that, like I said, will definitely be going in there. Then the other thing I purchased was a wax seal base for my collection of wax seals. So this one is, hopefully you'll be able to see it. It is the moon with the stars.
dangling from it. So hopefully be able to see that. And then I bought more paper. They don't have a lot of paper, so when I see that they have paper, I usually, if it's something that I like, I will try to pick up. They only had one more of the paper that I had purchased to make the journal when I had gone to actually look at it. This one's called Motley. So let's take a look at it. So I like it because it's very colorful. There's pretty much so much that you can do with this. This one's pretty. This one has different leaves and stuff along with the writing. And I like the colors like this one. Look at this one with the green and the oranges. So I like that one. I thought that one was really nice. So that was everything that I got this time around. So I got one, two, three, four, five items. Oh, no, six. And let me go see if I can find some ink and a piece of paper so we can try one of these out. Okay, so I'm gonna, I just grabbed a, a scrap of mine. Hopefully this I haven't used. I don't even know if there's ink on these anymore. But we're going to try it. So it might not be the stamp's fault because I have not used these in a very long time. So <laughs> we're going to see. pretty well. Yeah, I like that. It's definitely sticky, that's for sure. I mean, that's an old ink pad, but, but definitely, you could definitely, so if I had a nice juicy ink pad, you would definitely see that really, really well. So yeah, I, I'm very happy with the stuff that I chose to work on my BB craft projects. So the next thing you'll see is working on my next couple of BB Craft projects that will be going into my BB Craft journal. So thank you all for joining me for my unveiling of my BB Craft unboxing. So I will see you all on my next videos. So thank you all and I will see you on next one. Take care everybody. Bye.